All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I am fertilizing my fig trees. And I think the most common question I get about fertilizing them is really when and what do I use? I'm gonna make this as simple as humanly possible for you guys, because we're gonna do today is we're gonna fertilize them. It's the beginning of the growing season. That's when you do it. And I'm not gonna fertilize them again until this time next year. And if you guys wanna copy the exact method that I'm using, you're gonna see success. And it's really that simple. We do a one-time application of fertilizer and then we forget about it until this time next year. And I'm able to do that, by the way, because we use a product here called Osmocote or Caliber Coat, Florican, Classic Coat. There's so many names for these little beads of fertilizer that even if you're brand new to growing plants, you have probably seen these beads before in nursery plants because this is what all the nurseries use for their, their plants. They put this in their pots and it gives them a slow release of fertilizer every time they water their plants. And that's all we really need as growers of fig trees, especially if you're growing them in containers. We need a consistent amount of fertilizer every time we water. Why? Because the nutrients, every time we water, comes out the bottom of the pot and leaches out and escapes. So if we don't consistently keep applying some fertilizer, eventually our potting soils become devoid of nutrients and we just, in general, um, are not gonna have as healthy, happy, or a productive enough fig tree if we're not giving them something consistent. So people love to use, instead of these beads here, they love to use a fast release fertilizer like miracle Grow. People love to use organic stuff. I have nothing against that. But if you wanna make this really short, simple, and easy, one-time application of this is exactly what I do. I do one little handful, spread that around the top, maybe a little bit extra here, uh, roughly about a half of a cup to one-fourth of a cup per five gallons of soil, and that's it. You can, at this point, turn off the video, you can walk away, just do exactly that, and you don't have to do anything again till next year. But if you really want to get in the weeds of this, and you really want to learn about fig trees, and you want to push your trees a bit more, then we can add some other things, and we're going to talk about that now. But this caliber coat, let me just explain this really briefly, what this is. This covers not only your NPK fertilizer, your macronutrients, but it also covers a number of different micronutrients. It has it here listed on the bag. Each of these products, by the way, whether you're getting Caliber Coat, Classic Coat, Florican, whatever one it is, they last a different amount of time. This one here I purposely selected because it lasts five to six months. That's how long it's designed to last. So if I have a six month long rowing season, I know it's gonna last to the end of the year and I'm basically covered at that point. Um, now, it's also covering, like I said, the macro and micronutrients, pretty much almost everything I need. But there are other nutrients that I think fig trees need in a higher amount, or you would see a nice benefit to apply them in a higher amount. The first one we can talk about is right here, diatomaceous earth. And this is from Red Lake. You can get this in the mail. People use it for cattle, feeding animals. Um, I think you can also eat this stuff. It's food grade. People actually recommend taking silica supplements or diatomaceous earth supplements for silica. And that's what's in diatomaceous earth is a nutrient called silica. And what that does is it really boosts the immune systems of our plants, it makes them more disease resistant, pest resistant. I think in general, it just makes my trees more healthier since I've been using this uh, a silica supplement uh, every year since. And so I use about, again, the same amount Per five gallons of soil, I use one little handful here, which is about a fourth of a cup. And one and done, again, lasts all season. Maybe you wanna apply a little bit more than that. There's no real limits, uh, unlike these NPK fertilizers. And the next one that I like to use is oyster shells. And this is from Mana Pro. Um, it's very similar to what a lot of fig growers use which is called lime. And instead of using lime, I use oyster shells, two handfuls, about a half of a cup, 
because oyster shells uh, don't raise the pH of your soil. I love to keep the soil just neutral. Anywhere between six and seven and a half is good. But if you go over seven and a half, you're gonna see some nutrition uh, deficiencies uh, because the soil pH is just too high. So if you just keep it around that, you're good. And uh, oyster shells to me is a nice little compromise. It still gives that calcium and magnesium that fig trees really need in higher amounts than other plants. I would argue it's a good thing to add this to even your garden. It's a good thing to add it to most of your potting soils for all your other plants as well. But certainly I found that uh, fig trees, and I think most fig growers would agree, just a little bit of lime goes a long way for that extra boost of calcium and magnesium. Uh, some of the other products, I think you guys, if you really wanted to get further into this, um, which I'm not, probably not gonna do this year, I'm gonna stick to these three products, apply it to all 100 plus container fig trees I have. Uh, but if you wanted to get a little carried away, you could then also use green sand or rock dust. And what that will do is cover all your trace minerals. Believe it or not, there are many different minerals and nutrients that plants and humans need. And so if you cover all of them, like we would, let's say in our potting soils, just cover everything like I talked about in the beginning of this video, you're gonna be better off. And correcting a deficiency, like I said, goes a longer way than if you had, let's say, a higher amount of that nutrient already, correcting a deficiency can really make your fig tree push it a little bit of that extra bit to get a little bit more fruits out of it. Or even maybe they might even taste a little bit better. There's certainly an argument for that. Um, so that's one nutrient I think you guys could use. Uh, and then the last thing I would recommend is actually adding some life to your soil. Yeah, you can do that. You can get yourself some mycorrhizae. There's different mycorrhizae products on the market. I use Organic Approach. Someone locally recommended it to me. I think they're in Lancaster. And that's a product I use to drench that in there in the soil once or twice a year. And that allows the trees to really uptake the nutrients that we added a lot easier, makes the nutrients more available. And so in general, having that fungal dominated soil for trees and shrubs and woody plants is really gonna be a better uh, thing than having, let's say, a bacteria dominated soil that we would probably use in our gardens. So those are the things I would recommend. There's five things you guys could use. If you're just gonna do one thing, stick with the Osmocote. If you're gonna use something organic or something that's water soluble, you gotta be more consistent with it. And if you just do this one-time application, you're done. Then we can think about more important things actually. And I would argue, I know some of you guys are really into this fertilizing thing, but to be totally honest, if you guys just focus on pruning them properly, training them properly, shaping them, staking them, opening up the center and maximizing that sunlight, you're gonna be way better off in having a more productive fig tree than adding one little minor nutrient that might have an effect on your fig tree's production. So that's the video guys. If you really wanna get in the weeds of this, check out that blog post I mentioned in the description. I'll put that there and please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you for the next one. Take care everybody.